Professor Robert Zek is to speak on a new strategy to reduce complications and improve results in ERT for Hashimoto's thyroiditis patients using a distinct dietary supplementation. It is my pleasure and privilege to introduce our distinguished speaker. He is the founder and owner, chair of the board of the Institutes of Reproductive Medicine and Endocrinology. He was the president of the Austrian Society for Reproductive Medicine and Endocrinology from 2003 to 2006. In 1985, he founded the Institute of Reproductive Medicine and Endocrinology in Bregenz in Austria, which was the first private clinic for reproductive medicine in Austria. He went on to establish several institutes of reproductive medicine and endocrinology at Milan in Italy in 2001, Switzerland in 2002, the Czech Republic in 2003, and Salzburg in 2005. In 2006, he founded a biotechnology company for development of drug deliveries through the skin using laser technologies. And in 2008, he founded more companies, including an institute for stem cell biology in Zurich and laboratories in Graz and Dusseldorf. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for inviting me, especially Dr. Gautam, to this very nice place and to present our uh, topic on immunolo immunology uh, at this very important meeting about controversies. Uh, I would like to talk to you about Hashimoto's disease, which is a very common disease, uh, especially in women, as you will see when I go through my presentation. I will present a new strategy to reduce complications and improve results in ART for Hashimoto's thyroiditis patients using a distinct dietary supplementation. Hashimoto's disease is named after Hakaru Hashimoto, who described this order early in, this, in the last century, in 1912. It is an autoimmune disorder of the thyroid gland. The formation of autoantibodies leads to chronic inflammation and subsequent destruction of the thyroid tissue by T lymphocytes. The final stage of this disease is characterized by hypothyroidism. However, during the initial stages of the disorder, there may be periods of thyroid hyperfunction, which are trigger factors for this disease. They are several genetic factors, severe viral infections can lead to this autoimmune disease, like such uh, as glandular fever, herpes, and cytomegalovirus infections. A dysfunction of the adrenal cortex may also be responsible for this immune disease. Microchimerism due to exogenous cells, which is very new, uh, the concept that cells during the pregnancy would migrate into the baby and they can induce antibodies against these cells and may induce the immunological uh, problem. Stress and environmental, uh, environmental factors such as pollution, pesticides, xenohormones, other autoimmune disorders, heavy metal intoxications and iodine excess and of course, oxidative stress may also be responsible for this immune disorder. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is one of the most common autoimmune disorders, as I uh, said already, and it is the most frequent cause of primary hypothyroidism. Women are affected two to five times more often than men, and whereas Hashimoto's disease has a prevalence of 5 to 10 percent in the general population. Female patients presenting at fertility clinics are affected in up to 25 percent of the cases. Many women with Hashimoto's disease suffer from irregular menstrual cycles, from subfertility, infertility, and again also uh, from increased miscarriage risks. The hormonal implications in this disease is Hashimoto is most common, ultimately leads to hypothyroidism, 
vice versa. Hypothyroidism leads to hyperprolactinemia with subsequent impairment of oocyte maturation due to increased TRH impact on the pituitary gland due to decreased prolactin uh, clearance due to reduced influence on dopamine sensitivity. An impairment of the pulsatile gonadotropin release results in ovulation defects in compromised luteinization due to reduced, reduced oocyte maturity. Another very important aspect in Hashimoto's thyroiditis is uh, changes in the blood coagulation. The coagulation generally is increased due to the influence of thyroid hormones and, and coagulation factors and due to homocysteine metabolism defects. Presumably, immunological caused endothelial defects lead to microthrombi, and they lead to uh, defective uh, implantation. Hashimoto's disease is frequently associated with endometriosis and PCOD. The possible mechanisms are not known yet. An activated hyperreactive immune system with an increase in natural killer cells and a shift of CD4 to CD8 ratio can endanger early pregnancy and lead to miscarriages. There are many deficiencies which has been, have been discussed uh, as causal factors for this disease deficiency in vitamin D is known to impact fertility and oocyte maturity. Defective folic acid metabolism leads to reduced hepatic remethylation of uh, hypothyroidism followed by increase in homocysteine, and this is another reason for this uh, disease. Zinc deficiency leads to oxidative stress, as well as low levels of antioxidants are associated with increased levels of reactive oxygen species, like selene. What kind of therapies do we have? Of course, the first line is therapy of the hypothyroidism. Thyroxine, as you all know, substitution might tighten, with tightened TSA adjustment, you need to be really very closely monitoring this therapy is the first line. Second line is prolactin to adjust to the upper normal range. We take care of increased coagulation with a wide anticoagulation uh, regimen with heparin and aspirin starting at oocyte pickup. Activated hyperreactive immune system can be dealt with steroids in increasing dosages, especially when uh, GPO antibody titers are elevated. For example, we start with Prednisolone, 5 milligrams per day, beginning at down regulation, we increase it to 7.5 milligrams from stimulation and up to 10 to 15 milligrams from ovum pickup until gestation week 12. We conducted a study for another line of treatment, supplementation, and this study uh, was done uh, in order to find out uh, possible importance of adjuvant micronutrient supplementation. We, con we included two groups of patients into this study. Group 1, 54 Hashimoto patients. Stimulation with long protocol TSH was adjusted in both groups to under two micro units per milliliter with L-tyroxine, the adjuvant medication from puncture, was fragmine and aspirin, prednisolone in rising dosage, uh, dependent on the antigen title.
above uh, recommended daily allowance. Uh, you can see it on the red, on the right hand side in vitamin E, vitamin B, in the folic acid, and in the selenium. We collected the following data, number of all sites retrieved, the number of P two PNs, the blastocyst rate, tyroxine dosage required, biochemical pregnancy rate, and of course, the final stage of our study was the positive heart action. We had the following results. Patients in the supplemented group, supplemented with micronutrients, uh, needed significantly less tyroxine for the same target TSH level. There were no differences in all site and PN number, and the patients in the supplemented group two had more and better uh, developed blasted cysts. This was significant. As you can see here, the blasted cyst rate, top blasted cyst rate in group two is better than in the folic acid group only. The tyrox, uh, tyrox, tyroxine level uh, uh, need was lower in the group two, supplemented group two. The biochemical, this is very important, pregnancy rates were similar in both group, groups, but the supplemented group had significantly higher rates of positive heart action. This is very important for miscarriage prevention. The pregnancy rates as detected by sonographically proven positive heart action in the Hashimoto patients equals the rate we get on average in normal patients of the same age group at our center. Hashimoto patients with adjuvant medication and micronutrient supplementation have a 48% pregnancy rate, whereas no Hashimoto patients of the same age group with adjuvant med medication uh, have a 53% uh, pregnancy rate per stimulation, which is not significant. There is no significant significance uh, if we supplement uh, patients of Hashimoto's disease with micronutrients as compared to normal, no Hashimoto patients. Patients considerably benefit from micronutrient supplementation. Patients of the supplemented group two require less tyroxine. <laughs> they had a higher blastocyst rate. And the supplemented patients in group two had a significantly increased pregnancy rate as detected by positive heart action. <laughs> the success rates of ART treatment according to the regimen presented here equal those of other fertility patients without Hashimoto. Supplementation with Fertilovit, which is the product containing a specific composition of micronutrients such as selenium, vitamin D, B vitamins, and antioxidants in combination with adjuvant drugs such as tyroxine, bromocryptine, aspirin, fragmine, prednisolone, during ART improves pregnancy outcome of Hashimoto patients and simultaneously reduces early miscarriage rates. The medication and the substitution needs to be closely monitored. Uh, both the medication of tyroxine, the bromocryptine, and the vitamins, and of course, the micronutrients. Further studies are required to establish patient-optimized therapeutic procedures. Thank you very much for this. Uh, attention. <laughs>